Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. Welcome back. I'm Cognac Villa Lane, and we are here at the 16th annual Hamptons, Heart of the Hamptons Ball. And I'm here with Dr. Moses, who is being honored this evening. Tell my audience about this award that you're receiving tonight. Well, it's really, they're actually honoring me for my work in heart disease over the years uh, in treating people, especially with coronary disease and valve disease. But I think it's more about me just representing the work of everybody who really fights heart disease in this country and under the auspices of the Heart Association we've made so much progress in fighting this disease over the last two decades. Really, can you tell my audience about some of the accomplishments that the organization has accomplished within this past year? Well, I mean, there have been, well first of all it funds, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars worth of research in terms of basic research and clinical research. It also, you, it also has campaign after campaign identifying specific issues in heart disease. For instance, women's heart disease. They brought it, though red, they brought it to so the American important. public. And so it's important. really changed the face of women's health. Now that this decade, they're focusing on a million hearts to save a million lives by reducing coronary heart disease mortality by 20% by 2020. And that's the goal, that's by 2020. We've reduced it 50 percent in the last generation and we're going for another 20 percent. Now I have an interesting question, maybe you might not think it's so interesting, but you know my father had heart disease but he had it like later in life because there were no boys in the family and in my immediate family, I was the only girl, the only child. Do I have to be concerned because my father had Heart disease? Well, it depends on when when they get it. If your if your father had heart disease yeah, below 55, he had a triple a quadruple bypass at 80. Well, that's not a big signal for you, fortunately. If you're if you're a woman who had it below 65 or a man below 55, then your children are at greater risk. So your father was very good to you. He got it later in life. Thank God, thank God. He lived to be 87. Well, wonderful. That's how old my dad is. Now, I want you to tell my audience where we can go to find out more information about the American Heart Association. Well, the website is the way to start, and the main thing is what the Heart Association is built on are volunteers. 
And if you can volunteer your time, there are heart walks, there are all types of counseling groups, support groups, um, money is always good, <laughs> and that's what you can do for the Heart Association. Thank you very much. And we'll be back in a moment with more interviews coming up, darling. Please share pain kisses. Welcome back. I'm Cognac Willow Lane, and I'm here with dietitian, celebrity dietitian, Ms. Lainey Lieberman. Now, Lainey, you are on the board now of this wonderful organization, the American Heart Association. Can you tell my audience about the diet, about our diets, how we should make people more aware of what they should really eat? What, what is the proper diet to prevent heart disease? Well, the problem is today in our country is that we're always going on and off fad diets to lose weight, to lower cholesterol, and you know for other chronic illnesses. The, we don't. There, that problem doesn't exist so much in other countries. I think we really need to learn how to just eat healthfully and think of diet as a way of life. Of course, there are certain guidelines one has to think about when it comes to a healthy diet. Uh, one wants to eat whole foods, natural foods, not so many processed foods. Of course, we don't want to eat too much fat, but not deprive ourselves so much that we end up binging and then therefore having no food yeah. on these big diets. So, so again, true. It's very, very important to learn how to be comfortable with just eating a healthy diet, learning how to balance your food throughout the day, and enjoying food and respecting food. And I think we'd have less obesity in this country if we just would focus on that. I also think that the way we eat, the types of food we eat, and how much we eat also is a big factor in bringing on depression. I'm not quite sure about that. I've been doing a little bit of research about that. I think certain foods can actually cause depression too. Well, again, I think that we, this country has so has an overabundance of food and the food industry keeps marketing to us. We're so confused about what to eat, what not to eat. And then we eat too much. We eat a lot of foods that are highly processed with a lot of chemicals. Things that have a lot of chemicals or highly processed could create bad feelings in our bodies. Yes. And also, not only that, we take so many medications to deal with our chronic illnesses, and the medications can cause depression. So if we just, again, ate healthy and got in, uh, you know, could find a, the right balance of diet, and we didn't have to take so many medications, we'd feel better. Let me ask you, tonight's dinner, what is on the menu for tonight's oh, dinner? Oh, the menu's wonderful. I'm so excited about the menu. I love the menu because I get to do that menu every year. I've been doing the menu for 16 years for the American Heart Association, and it's all it's a variety of wonderful foods. It's just, um, there's fish, there's vegetables, uh, a lot of local uh, products are on the menu tonight. Fresh produce. Fresh produce, locally grown. And I just think, you know, we have to enjoy ourselves and not eat. We have to, it's good to eat a little bit of everything, taste everything, but don't overeat either. Overeating makes us feel bad. Tell my audience where we can go to find out more information about the American Heart Association. Uh, the American Heart Association, you can go to uh, www.heart.org. That's a good place. You could also visit my website, which Tell is uh, www.webrd.com. And I'm also writing a book, so I hope that the audience gets to see that. It'll be out in about within another six to eight months. And there'll be fabulous. Yeah, so a lot of answers will be. That is fabulous. Well, you are always a joy to interview. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you so much, Thank Dawn. You so much. Bye. We'll be back in a moment with more celebrity interviews. Keep watching, darling. Speak champagne kisses. American Heart 
Association's 16th annual Heart in the Hamptons Ball, and I'm here with this gentleman who's a big supporter and a big contributor. Introduce yourself to the camera. Yeah, I'm the master of ceremonies tonight. Uh, Bill Hemmer from the Fox News Channel, and I was here two years ago, and I thought it was a great organization and thought it was worthwhile. And you I think there's some great people here doing some fantastic work. Now, why are you a big supporter? Why do you come every year they, and do they, what you do and MC? Why do you do that? They asked me to get involved, and um, I told them I would check it out, and and uh, that's what I did. And I, I think the people behind the scenes really should get so much credit for this organization because they're the ones out there putting this all together and raising the money that's necessary to to raise awareness and to help help the people who need it and um, I'm lucky my health is good and I hope it stays that way. I mean, well you don't have a history of heart disease in your family do you? I do not and luckily I can say that also but I know many people who are victims and they live with it every day. Okay, okay and we should all go, where should we all go to find out more information to bring awareness against heart disease. Well, I think they have a terrific website, the Heart Association. Thank you so much you for that. Nice to see you again, you. by the way. This is the second yes. time I've seen you, so yes. keep trucking, all right? Okay. Nice to see you. More celebrity interviews coming up, darlings. Keep watching the Heart of the Hamptons Ball. I'm Cognac Will Elaine, and we are here at the 16th Annual Heart of the Hamptons Ball, and I'm here with Kevin O'Connor, who is a very big supporter of this event. Tell my audience what your, what your involvement with all of this is this evening. Well, this year I'm the event chair. Uh, we've been involved as a bank for a number of years. This year I had the opportunity to be the chairman of the event uh, and helping pull together with, with a great committee, uh, you know, working for a great cause. Uh, at Bridgehampton Bank, it's important for us. We're always involved in community activities, uh, and this is an event that's sort of a, or a cause that's dear to my heart. So, absolutely. Now, tell me, do you have any heart disease in your family? Uh, tragically, I lost my father at uh, the age of 42 to heart disease. Oh and, no! And, uh, you know, and, and his parents. So it's something that's touched our family deeply, uh, and it's 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 part of what you see with this organization because, quite honestly. As you know, I'm a much healthier person than my dad was. Part of it is the education that's provided by this organization, uh, and it teaches us to have live a heart healthy lifestyle. So, uh, again, this is that's what makes this important to me personally and uh, for our organization. Tell my audience where can we go to find out more information? Uh, the American Heart Association has a website uh, that you can go. Uh, you can find out the good things that they do. Uh, there's always an heart.org, right? Yes, it is. So. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll be back in a moment, guys, with more celebrity interviews. Keep watching. Pink Champagne Kisses. Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. dressed to impress one of a kind girl. This has been a crybaby productions, darlings.